Kyle shook his head, trying to get away from the long arms of the clown. He ducked and moved back, trying to get away from it. But the clown kept coming back, moving closer and closer, trying to get a hold of him. He pulled his hand away and looked down to see that his skin had been ripped right through. Blood dripped down his arms and began pooling around him. Kyle struggled, pulling more and more until he woke up. Honey, are you okay? His wife, Ariel, asked, looking at him in the dark. Ugh, Kyle replied. Clowns. Clowns? I was dreaming, he replied, reaching over to hold her. Are you okay? Ariel prodded. Yeah, yeah, Kyle replied. He looked over at the clock on the bedside, seeing it was past six in the morning. He looked up at his wife in the darkness, kissing her cheek. Merry Christmas, love. Merry Christmas, baby, Ariel replied, kissing him back. Kyle began kissing her neck. Ariel chuckled, rubbing his hair. Babe, the kids are going to hear. They're asleep, Kyle argued. It's Christmas morning. Come on, she replied, getting out of bed. Kyle nodded and got out of bed, heading over to the bathroom to brush his teeth. As he got the toothpaste on the brush, he heard a scream emanating from the room. He rushed back out to see Ariel standing by the window, staring out of it in horror. He rushed over to her, grabbing her hands and pulling her into an embrace. What is it? Kyle asked. She pointed. Blood! There's blood! Kyle looked out the window, seeing blood covering the window. It dripped down, seemingly coming from somewhere above the house. It's okay. It's all right, he said, trying to reassure her. Kyle quickly rushed downstairs, attempting to go outside and figure out the source of the blood. Ariel followed behind him. As he got to the front door, he pulled on the handle, trying to open the door. But it was jammed. As he pulled on the door, another scream came from the bedrooms. Kyle and Ariel quickly turned and rushed toward the children's room. Kyle tried the handle, seeing it was locked as well. He leaned his ear against the door, hearing the girls in the distance. He kicked the door as hard as he could, breaking it instantly. As he ran in, he noticed the entire floor was becoming slowly saturated in blood that seeped in through the window they had left open a crack. Kyle ran over to them. Hey, hey, it's okay. He carried Mira, the younger one first, and placed her in Ariel's arms before grabbing Robin and pulling her away from the bed. You guys go to the living room. As Kyle reached for the window... The frame slammed instantly shut, as though something invisible forced it closed. He crept over to the blood, got on the bed, and tried to look out the window. As he did, he saw the rest of the neighborhood through the red haze. It was as though every building was empty, and nobody was on the road. There were no vehicles, and no snow falling. It was eerily quiet. He rushed back to the living room, grabbing the phone. As he did, he saw that it was dead. He looked around and grabbed the light switch, discovering that there was no power in the house. Ariel quickly grabbed her smartphone, only to find that it had no bars on it. As she stared at the battery, it began dropping rapidly. What is going on? Ariel asked, fear in her voice. I don't know, Kyle replied, looking around. Where's Milo? What about Skipper? One of his daughters asked, still confused. Kyle whistled, knowing that the dog would come no matter what. But no matter how much he whistled, the spaniel didn't respond. And the girls couldn't find their cat either. They were locked in, without any way to communicate with the outside world. Kyle walked back to his family, 
grabbed the family gun and tucked it into his waistband. He wasn't sure what was going on, but he knew this nightmare was all too real, and he was going to protect them. Before he could speak, there was a knock at the door. Kyle looked at his wife, seeing her shaking in fear. He nodded at her and walked over to the door, pulling the gun. He looked through the peephole, seeing it was covered in blood as well, blocking his view outside the house. Kyle listened, trying to hear anything that would indicate what was waiting on the other side. The knock came again. Who's there? Kyle yelled. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Came the response. What? Kyle asked. What are you saying? Who are you? Merry Christmas! The voice came again, followed by another knock. Kyle frowned, pointing his gun at the door. He grabbed the handle and pulled it open. And the door opened, revealing the man on the other side. He had a bright smile on his face, with a great white beard and a red and white costume. He had a bag slung over his shoulder and looked extremely jolly. But it wasn't just Santa jolly. His lips were covered in blood, and his beard was stained in the same substance. He reached into his bag, which was dripping with blood, and pulled out a head, holding it by the hair, laughing heartily as he held it up to Kyle. Merry Christmas. Subscribe today. Ooh.